Yeah. Ah, there we go. I can hear the bumper. We have one of my favorite guests ever to get on. He's on the run always. His name is Cody Snodgrass, S-N-O-D-G-R-E-S. And uh, lightonconspiracies.com forward slash Cody. You can get his book. And what's the title of your book again, Cody? Uh, the book is Choosing the Light, Dark Secrets of the Oakland City Bombing. Right. Now, the reason why we converged is after many years. I think I got to know you a couple of years ago. You went on my friend, uh, his radio show, um, and uh, in December of 2017, and within days they tried to kill you in Colorado with a car accident, right, front end. And uh, when you came on my show the next spring, by the way, after I found out because I'd heard uh, from John B. Wells who were on there, and then I heard the details that, in fact, they gave you a, uh, a, 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 a duffel bag full of half a million dollars and said, hey, do you, could you blow up for us, please, the, this is CIA, the Alpha Premier building. Remember now, I still see people like knuckleheads like Tucker Carlson. He's really good on some topics, but he still defends the thesis that somehow Saudi Arabia did it. No, they didn't do it. There were some Saudi people that are in the name, but half of the so-called pilots were still alive flying years after 9-11, and their IDs were stolen, including a, a pilot from Morocco. So when I hear people want to defend the thesis that even Tucker Carlson saying, that's why we're suing Saudi Arabia, or why are we defending Saudi Arabia and sending over things to stop the destruction of their oil fields by drones from Houthi rebels, it makes me sick, damn it. And none of these people, including Tucker, would dare call into this show because he doesn't have the guts to face the real music. You and I are the music makers. We, You make bombs. I'm the ex-examiner with a nuclear background of the Oklahoma City Murrah Building. And after they found out the truth from the one of the five that actually spilled the beans at a bar near Fort Carson, I got hauled into the boardroom at St. Francis Hospital and was fired and given death threats. Now... People need to know this, and I took care of Delta Force and Special Op and vets going right back to Vietnam. I have never been served as an active member of any military group, but my boys in the tank division said, Deagle, you may not have been in the military, but man, you're our brother. You're, you've got military DNA in you. Yeah, I got warrior. And I'm not afraid to die for the truth. But if people think they're going to kind of get Dr. Deagle to shut up, I was born absent the shut up gene so when people say he should shut up I STF you I had one guy the other day after we did our video with you you should just let your guest speak I want you to speak more this hour but I want people to understand when I'm on a rant it's because God's telling me you gotta go on a rant Eagle, because people don't respect you yet and it's not for my sake if they don't believe what we're saying they're gonna die not just a horrible physical death they're gonna die a spiritual death because the destroyer is not Satan he's only the perverter the destroyer is God when he's on a rant, and there's no more grace, it's just judgment. And believe me, the last drop of grace is the words of the prophets and those that come with horrifying experiences of the truth of the Most High God. And we're rejected, and it says there's the words of Jesus, I wish to gather you, O Israel, like a mother gathers her, her hens or chicks, but you would not between the brazen labor and the Holy of Holies. And because you have rejected the words of the prophets, I will bring destruction upon you. In other words, it's worse than murder or mass murder or even abortion to disrespect the words of the prophets. There is nothing more evil and vile because the last drop of grace to separate you from, from judgment is the words of those sent by the Creator God to save your mortal, ugly carcass. Right? And say my, more, my ugly carcass. <coughs> so there's nicer people than me going to hell. A lot nicer. Okay? I'm not nice. I'm in your face. And people say, well, I'm afraid to call into your show. Don't be afraid. I'm a decent person. But if you start at hominem of attacks and think you can intellectually outrun Dr. Deagle, I am without a cape and I do not fly at the speed of light. I'm an intellectual and spiritual Superman, you have actually met an intellectual and spiritual Superman. You think, well, he thinks he knows everything. If I'm talking about it, I know it. 
I don't know everything. I ask more questions than any rational person. That's why I wake up in the morning feeling stupid. If you don't walk in the valley of stupid, you can never rock, uh, climb the mountain or the tower of wisdom and get truth. Because the only thing that will save you is truth. And the ultimate truth is that you cannot sin against man or against nature. You can only sin against the creator. And the creator is not only the creator, he's also the destroyer. Get it, people. You're not taught this in, in your little milk and cookie churches. And if you want the resurrection, the resurrection doesn't wait till you die. The resurrection starts the day that you actually have a relationship with God. Now, you don't go to heaven because your physical body drops away. That's why I sell the analogy of when you die, it's evident you're going to hell because your physical body is gone and your soul has no relationship with the Creator God. When God sees your soul and you've had a relationship with him during life, of course you have one after you die. Right. People don't know that. And this is what's going on in America to me is not repentant. They do a lot of good works, thinking it'll take away evil, which is all high level Masons teach, which is BS. They don't understand the only way to do good is to do God and then an extra, which means only what God wants, based on the Bible and your prayer life. That's why the most powerful thing you can do is prayer. Not only prayer to tell God what you want, but listen to what he's telling you to do. And people think otherwise. They think, well, I know better than God. That's not possible. I don't care how smart you are. Even if you're even smarter than Deco, which is not likely. And I'm blamed, let me tell you, I realize my intellect is a stumbling block for Satan. That's why the Pindar visited me 27 and a half years ago because he thought, you potentially could go from Anakin Sky Deagle to Darth Deagle. I could turn you into an evil weapon against God's kingdom. Of course. Because I was trying to do right in my own eyes, just like Eve, who told Adam, and that's why they're turfed out of the garden. But guess what? I'm reformed. And I'm not afraid to die, and I will die doing the right thing for the Most High God. And the attacks on me have been so vicious, you would not freaking believe it. Personal, family, professional, biological, health. Every attack that's possible, including even co-hosts and other networks, don't even want to interview me or disrespect me like WebBot Project said five years ago. That was the deepest state, deep spade out operator in the world. And even the Prophecy Club won't even talk to me now after I rebuked them 20 years ago that they shouldn't try to drill at the southwest end of the Dead Sea because they wanted the, they offered me $100 million right off the bat or special ministries on top of that. I said, no, God told me to tell you not to do it. In fact, if you proceed, hey, see, God's going to take your life. You're going to die real soon. And stand, your, your ministry will be crushed and you'll be significantly reduced. But you see... People need to realize they're not hearing the voice of Dr. Deagle because I'm just a knucklehead, okay? But I do hear, I have God on speed dial, and there's times when he speaks in visions and dreams. There's other times, like my ancestor Moshe, he talks to me audibly. Now, there is nobody else that I know on the earth like me. I'm it. Now, I've heard and see other pastors and people that speak like Ken Klein, who speaks like a prophet Ezekiel. But I don't see a revelation yet that he understands his ministry. I do know that your call is an apostle prophet too, like others in, that I have close to me, like John W. Spring is a Christian, Gary Richard Arnold. These are other people that I call, but I'm the Lamed. I'm the senior one. I'm the one that gathered together some of the end time. Remember, there's 24 elders in the in the in the the, the court of God. First 12 were the 12 apostles at the time of Jesus, and now God is collecting another 12 at the end of the secular age, where the final judgments occur. But you know, there's nothing more vile than to reject the truth and wisdom of a prophet. Worse than murder, worse than abortion, is to reject the truth of one that can save your physical body and your soul. So let's get into it, uh, <clears throat> Cody. I want you to talk about what we didn't get into, because I ranted too much on the video the other day. But you've had a recent friend that you had, you managed to get, who actually has gone through near-death experience and persecution of medical doctor, and you want to talk about his book. I ordered the book already, and I want to get him on the show at your recommendation. But let's get into it. Let's talk about what's going on with you lately and how you've gone through un frigging real hell on earth to do the right thing, which started with saying, hey, I'm not going to blow up the Murrah building, which is, by the way, the same technology they use in 9-11. So when people want to say, Saudi Arabia did it, one of the few truthful things that said by Ilhan Omar and Salib, 
these two congresswomen, is that Islam, as evil as they are, and they are freaking evil, they did not do 9-11. It was a sad special activity division of the CIA who tried to contract you to do it. And so when I hear defensive act strategies by uh, Tucker Carlson, Tucker, you need a wake up boy. And you need to wake up America and repent. Repent because you're getting awfully close to nuclear annihilation if you don't get missile defense, which I supplied to Trump two years ago. And wake up President POTUS, who I prophesied a month ago would receive a letter from POTUS to John W. Spring on the 12th of September. And on that very day, the September 6th letter arrived with John W. Spring. So guess what? Dr. Deagle's not just a functional medicine doctor, one of the best doctors in the world to give you the best nutraceuticals to heal your body. I'm here to save your soul from a neuronal annihilation because you don't have a place to play canasta with Flip Wilson and Sammy Davis Jr. and hell have hot drinks. Hell is called eternal separation from the creator and eternal annihilation. It's not a place to party, right? You bet. Yeah, it's not funny. And I don't want to see anybody go there. People say, well, how brave are you, Deagle? I actually was brave enough that I said to God, he said, well, now I want you to go back, Deagle. I said, why? He said, because if you do, you'll save billions and billions. And I said, I love you so much, God. I will go back. He said, now, if you do evil things and to turn away from me, I'll destroy you. And I said, I love you so much, God. I will go back anyway. And he cried and he said, because you've said this, no one since your ancestor Mose has told me that they would take their name from the book of life to save their fellows. And for this reason, when you fall away, not if, I will shake your ugly human carcass and I will make you a son again. And guess what? My carcass has been shaken. And so anybody who wants to think I'm arrogant, you're a freaking idiot. I have been changed by the spirit and the will of the Most High God. I'm not arrogant, man. If you think I'm arrogant, you're damned. How's that? If you out there think I'm arrogant, you are damned because you don't accept the transforming spirit of the Creator God that teaches you what for. Right? And maybe my experiences have put me through living hell to know that I love God first, before my wife, before my children, before myself. If your love of God doesn't proceed even over your own eternal existence, you cannot serve God. Right? Yeah, we're all we've all been attacked in uh, so many ways. When you do try to bring the truth and the light, um, it's been like that for centuries. Uh, the Wait, light bearer. Say, uh, so I'm gonna. In I am gonna. I, my, one country uh, and another. I, I'm gonna and voluntarily shut up without my. What's happening to you? I, I, what's happening to like me? This, what's I, happening to Doctor Greg Ford, the author of this new book? It's coming out October 8th. Yeah. It's um, Midnight in Samara, and uh, it's a wonderful book. It deals with um, a lot of stories uh, most people never heard, like uh, the banker for Saddam Hussein, it's Ali Sa'ad Hassan, and he financed a lot of the weapons of mass destruction at WMD sales, and Saddam really trusted him. And uh, his Arab name was Abu Sajer, but his daughter's name was Sega, S-E-G-A. I hope I'm pronouncing um this because my Farsi is not very good, but uh, anyway, uh, that was uh, Saddam's main mistress was this guy's daughter, and Dr. Ford got to uh, talk to this guy in between CIA beatings, uh, you know, they were basically beating him to death, torturing him at Abu Ghraib, and Dr. Ford got in there and went hand to hand with him and, and busted it up and saved him for a few hours, and then later on they got their mitts back on him and, and uh, he was found beaten to death, but he told Dr. Ford a whole bunch of stuff, uh, and a lot of it's in this book. And so we're helping him break the story and get the book out. He's been through horrible attacks. Uh, he was black bagged over there in, in, at Abu Ghraib, and he was given sodium amytal and various other truth agents. The CIA was torturing her own guy, if you can believe that. Yeah. And then later on, uh, Dr. Bill here in, in the States. 
Do you have difficulty taking supplements? Are you searching for a high-quality, complete nutritional drink that your whole family will love? Nutramedical's Life Support has arrived. All of your daily nutritional requirements in one quick, delicious drink. Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support is a proprietary blend of vegan protein, activated vitamins, essential minerals, amino acids, probiotics, green tea, digestive enzymes, anti-inflammatories, cancer prevention, detoxification, and much more. Your body will high-five you for this one. Life Support is the best complete nutritious meal replacement on the market. Whether you are an elite athlete, have post-operative challenges, chronic illness, elderly, or a family that just wants a quick, delicious drink, try Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support for optimized nutrition in one great-tasting smoothie. Just add cold water, almond milk, fruit, or anything else you like. Nutramedical's Life Support. Try our great-tasting chocolate or vanilla today. Call 888-212-8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Nutramedical.com for the whole family. Legacy Emergency Foods is the top recommendation from Dr. Bill Deagle for the lowest oxygen concentration, the largest entrees, the highest amount of protein, the most varied entrees as well, and the longest food storage life. Nothing like Legacy Emergency Foods, and if you place a regular monthly order, you get 20% off and free shipping. Do get emergency foods for your supply for preparation and get it from Legacy Foods. Contact Dr. Bill Deagle for the link at Nutramedical.com. Go to the Shop by Products link and drop down message at Nutramedical.com and then place your orders for regular emergency food for yourself and your family. Nothing like emergency food if the power goes out and you can't go to grocery stores or if there's an emergency or a national crisis. So Nutramedical.com, top recommendation, Legacy Foods. Nutramedical.com, go to the Shop by Products and drop down menu and stay well with Nutramedical every day of your life. Lumen Photon Therapy, infrared light, far and near infrared is extremely important for pain control, simulation of nitric oxide, improved perfusion, and stem cell activation and reduction of cytokines. Dr. Bill uses it for pain control, for regeneration techniques, for organ regeneration, and for stimulation of your stem cell activity. Uh, this amazing uh, Lumen Photon Therapy this year will probably have an additional device with frequency therapy during the on phase of the lights. To obtain a Lumen Photon machine, contact Dr. Bill at Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871. He'll prescribe it with you, providing nutraceuticals to help with your regeneration, healing, and pain control. Nothing like the Lumen Photon Therapy for uh, easy therapy for your eyes, your pain, your joints, regeneration of organs, detoxification of the body. Get a Lumen Photon machine from Dr. Bill Deagle, Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871. To stay well with Nutramedical. The Sonic Life Machine is one of the most amazing therapies that Dr. Bell provides. It is the best sine wave exercise machine on the planet, doing whole body vibration, opening up the muscle to reduce insulin resistance, improve perfusion, release stem cell therapies throughout the body, and epigenetically stimulate the body to release DNA activated. Uh, the epigenetic therapy with the uh, sine wave curve of frequencies given for atomic resonance by Linus Pauling for minerals and amino acids stimulates the production of messenger RNA to correct structural protein enzyme deficiency for almost every illness. There's nothing like the sine wave therapy for improving body healing for exercise, but also the epigenetic treatments Dr. Bell can provide can help neutralize frequencies for disease states and illness. Get a Sonic Life machine through Dr. Bill Deagle at Nutramedical.com. Contact us at Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871, or go to the website Nutramedical and give us a contact. Dr. Bill is available to help you get well with Nutramedical. Need a powerful ally to fight daily bugs and serious pathogens? Allison Med is the powerful universal pathogen killer's latest advance of German-sourced Allison, enzymatically stabilized to clear the body of bacteria, fungi, mycobacteria, and parasites. It penetrates body biofilms and is non-toxic to tissues. Pathogen resistance cannot develop for long-term body-optimized wellness. Clear stealth pathogens that promote autoimmune disease, cancer, and vascular inflammation and plaque and promote healing of tissues. Now pathogen-free. With 200 milligrams more power than prior Alamed, you can't get a more powerful ally to fight daily bugs and serious pathogens. Give your body what it needs. Allison Med. Order Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutridine at 888-212-8871 or Nutramedical.com. That's 1-888-212-8871 or Nutramedical.com. And listen to the Nutramedical Report on the Genesis Radio Network with open lines every weekday. Nutramedical.com, bringing nutrition and medicine together. And we're 
for coming back with uh, Cody Snodgrass. Uh, the last minute or so, you're cut off. I don't think you're the bumper, Cody. So repeat what you just said, and then on the break, we just got into all kinds of good stuff that deals with Brennan and the fact that he's probably a master behind this coup. Uh, this is not a CIA whistleblower. This is a CIA spy. And uh, what has to happen to people like uh, Mr. Uh, former CIA director, Brandon, who works for the cable news company, and for the CIA operative, who's actually not a first-hand person who's on the phone like Mr. Pompeo, this person needs to go to prison and go to a military service court, which might require, even under military law, execution. So we don't see anything. I don't see even people walking around in, in you know, uh, we call perp walking in orange jumpsuits. What the heck? So let's get into it. Uh, repeat the last few minutes of what you said just before the break, and let's get into the stuff about Brennan and the so-called CIA pseudo-whistleblower who's actually a spy, as Trump says. I mean, this is to me an active coup and they think they're going to wrap it up before Thanksgiving. These people are delusional. If they want to have actually a, a hearing, put a full vote before the House of Representatives. And if they put a vote, the actual minority get a right for subpoena. And they'll subpoena everything, including stuff about Hunter Biden and these other morons and the other crimes that are being done on a regular basis by the Barack Obama administration, right back to Bill Clinton and the demon rats. Damn it. And if we don't stop this, this coup will have split the nation to the point where half of the nation are so inured with stupidity from the, the State Department, the CIA, Department of Justice, are corrupt now, that they believe that, America, that Trump should be going to prison when I hear, you know, some of these other morons in the Democratic Party, they should be, say he's in, should be in solitary confinement or worse. What the heck is going on? It's called a coup. Let's stop talking about a pre-investigation also, the garbage. If they want to start a, a impeachment, have a vote and have the minority have the right to subpoena. That'll put an end to this crap, won't it? Yeah. Anyway, before the, uh, I don't know where we got cut off on the break, but I was talking about a minute, Dr. About a minute before. Book. Um, yeah, let's get into his book first and. Describe yeah, I'm it. How did... Samara, and uh, Dr. Ford has been nominated uh, for the Congressional Medal of Honor, and he was ex-military intelligence, also a medical doctor. But, uh, yeah, one of the things I was talking about was how uh, he was with uh, Ali Saad Hassan with right. financial weapon and mass destruction sales for Saddam. He was his, Saddam Hussein was the most trusted banker. His uh, Arab name was Abu Sager, and his daughter's name was Sega, who was Saddam's mistress. Right. And Dr. Ford was at Abu Ghraib there. Uh, the CIA was beating Ali Saad almost to death, and uh, he, he intervened and stopped him and saved him for a few hours. They got their mitts back on him and actually beat him to death later. But Dr. Ford heard some, you know, uh, an information download, and he put it all in this new book. And it's a Simon & Schuster book. It's all available on Amazon. It's coming out October 8th. We've been helping him spread his story. But yeah, like you, Dr. Bill, it. he's been horribly been that, um, and uh, horribly uh, pressured, you know, not to get this information out. So that's what we were talking about. But, you know, moving on, yeah, to the, the Ukrainian situation, um, this so-called intelligence whistleblower who's come up with this affidavit uh, supposedly about you know, Trump's July 25 conversation with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, um, this whole thing to me smacks like a setup. I don't even think this sounds like an intelligence guy. Uh, I think no. the whole thing is set up. But uh, You know, we have to see some proof, and we have to see some evidence, and, and what what the media is doing is just attacking Trump with very little evidence and very little... They don't need any yeah, evidence. For us yeah. to actually look at. Let, let me explain from a higher level what's going on here. And I had Steve Coyle, I watched their videos here, February 3rd, uh, September 13th through 15th, which Friday 13th, or Triscodecophobia Day, in Branson, Missouri, called the Gen6.com conference. And I tell people, get the conference videos, video on demand, until the actual DVDs come out, 
and get the 2018 because the evil is running Earth is transdimensional and exoplanetary. The Bible talks about this, about the Nephilim and so on, but people don't get it. And the level of intelligence of these beings is far exceeds the average human. And people don't want to believe there's anything evil out there other than greedy or perverted humans that are actually running the evil of Earth. Now, what's going on is your friend, remember Saddam Hussein was recruited by George Bush Sr. Do you know exactly. who George, do you know who George Bush's real father was? Prescott. Sure. Yeah, Prescott Bush's father uh, was actually sure. We, Prescott Bush's father was Scherf, the guy that was the manager for Tesla. Did you know that? No. Yeah. Did you know who actually uh, grabbed all of Tesla's documents in the hotel in New York City and brought them to the CIA? Wasn't that Trump's uncle the... that got a hold of those for the FBI? Exactly. Right. Right. That was back in the 1930s. So you got to start understanding there's a connecting some dots here. Trump's name, is, his Masonic name, is Apollyon Rising. He believes he's the prophetic called high-level Mason, Scottish Rite, that's going to recolonize Mars. Because Mars was the ancient population of humans, was destroyed in ancient galactic war with these beings. And the primary ones are avataring or world leaders are Druids. They're Draco reptilians from the star system Orion that actually are avataring the brains of our so-called world leaders like Hillary Clinton and John Podesta. And you know, Dr. You. Bill, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but you are absolutely right. You're absolutely right. right. I know I know that stuff. I've seen right. it myself. And right, I know but, Dr. Ford has talked. He doesn't talk on air, you know, about a lot of that kind of stuff. He sticks but, well, mostly, uh, to, you know, to the Iraq. Yeah, but I want, I want to connect a few dots here because you have to understand these things that are being going on are so evil they transcend normal, greedy, or even perverted humans. Yeah. What people have to understand is you're dealing with an evil that's transgalactic. That's transdimensional. I'll give an example. Uh, I, I have an intelligence that far exceeds the average human. So in 1969, I got recruited to MIT in nuclear physics. I beat 7,000 people, including people with a bachelor's or master's in physics, for the scholarship. So I could have been building a plasma nuclear weapons uh, in the late, you know, in the early 70s. I went into oceanography and I finished my PhD at age 21 in five months by sleeping on the lab floor. So Dr. Deagle's not an average person by any means. I was making solid fuel rockets and high explosives through a toggle wall I built so it wouldn't blow my hands and head off at the teens, 12, 13, 14. So I'm an expert in nuclear physics, belong to the Nuclear Division and the Society of Doctors and Scientists Against Nuclear War for 40 years. I'm a charter member of Greenpeace almost 50 years ago with Patrick Moore. Okay. So I know all the issues, and I understand these things intimately in exquisite detail, not just a little bit. And people have to understand, Dr. Deagle doesn't know some of it. I know everything. Now, I'm not going to dump, do a total data dump, but I want to do this because you, having had a near-death experience and having second sight now, and so does Dr. Frank Gregory Ford, who's a medical doctor, who took care of these special forces. He knows that what I'm saying is not bull. Now... When you're dealing with people like Saddam Hussein, even the occultist groups, for example, after we transported from Nazi Germany to Thule, T-H-U-L-E society, every single intelligence agency on the planet are occultists. Adolf Hitler was an occult high priest. People don't know this. He called Antarctica Neuschwebenland because of the ancient temples and so on there by these transdimensional transgalactic beings. Did you know that? And yeah, he went down there and, and actually he was discovered a, he those was, things. Uh, head of the SS Occult Division, too, wasn't he? Right, exactly. Well, our OSS, after World War II, is a transplant from Nazi Germany. And we didn't bring over just the space program. Our entire intel agencies, including the symbology, ancient symbology, that now, for example, if you go to Coronado Island in San, San Diego, you'll even see the Nazi symbol that goes back 6,000 years to uh, Eastern Asia. The swastika, it's not German. People don't understand what this stuff means, do they? People no, are no, so that, stupid. No, you know, the Nazi SS uh, occult division even went over to the Oracle at Delphi in Greece during World War II to try to uh, acquire some of the magical artifacts from that era. Exactly. In fact, do you know about the Society of the Bell? They channeled uh, ancient... Uh, Indian a scientist at the time of Mu, which, is, by the way, India was part of the empire of Mu when Atlantis existed, 
and they uh, they actually channeled uh, gravitonic image uh, boundary zone Higgs boson field technology and created the Foo Fighters, which the Germans flew at hyper at what's called FTL, faster than light speed. Did you know that? You know the Germans had FTL technology. Yeah, that ties into the transdimensional technology too. Well, of course it does. They opened star stargates. That's why right now in Europe. They've got, uh, they've got the Hadron Collider. It's opened up stargates to oh, transdimensional beings and to map out the, uh, the faster-than-light wormholes across the cosmos for galactic and intergalactic and cosmic trade. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Yeah, well, I know everything. Okay, you can ask me any question on Earth, but people are, oh, I'm terrified to ask him because he's going to tell me. Now, the reason why I'm ranting right now is I want you to fill in this very amazing book, Midnight in Samara, because... Saddam Hussein was recruited by George Bush Sr., right? George Bush Sr., by the way, declared 10 years to the day, 9-11. George Bush Sr.'s son, Marvin Bush, was the security officer for the building the day it was destroyed and his last day of work was 9-11. They contracted the SAD, the Special Activity Division of the CIA, which is druidic and satanic. And the SAD runs the state of Israel and the state of Saudi Arabia, so... There's agents that work with both countries and have certification of both secret services for Israel and the SAD. And when they contracted you to develop the Alpha Primero building, you were just being contracted by, they could say, the CIA. No, it was a SAD division. The SAD said, here, here's a sack of money. Go blow up the damn building. And then when you didn't, you became persona non grata. So let's get into this because people say, well, I think that's just your opinion. They go, my life experiences are not open to your damned opinion out there. They're just the way it is. And my first hand experiences with co authors that completely converged with me why they destroyed the medical records of our vets exposed to depleted uranium <clears throat> and to the Bioport vaccines from Michigan that destroyed people that we gave to Saddam Hussein because there were 10 to 12 times more troops coming in from Iran. So we wanted to give them weaponized anthrax to kill their Iranians. Yeah, that was an aim strain of anthrax from Fort Right, Eastern. well, I had one guy that I took care of, care of in Delta Force who got the anthrax, that injection. He said, and he's a tough guy. He used to hang from a wire upside down in a helicopter in a 90-pound backpack and run 25 miles for the mountains. And he said it was like being kicked across the room by a donkey. He said he literally did not sleep for a week because even breathing deep hurt so bad it felt like somebody was taking a high-tension power line and running it through his entire spine. Now, yeah, that's you from think, the squalene adjuncts they were using to build exactly. all the immunity. And by the way, it's, they bypassed yeah. FDA testing for all oh, that. Of course they did. basically used our poor soldiers as guinea pigs. Well, I, I also took care of Delta, of, of uh, super soldiers. I was a doctor for super I was a doctor for, you know, Phil Schneider, who they later killed, who had a bag of materials from other worlds. Yeah. I took care of his buddy, uh, John Fiala. I actually was his doctor before he died of... of of uh, uh, what's called lung disease caused by sodium cooled nuclear reactors and the tunneling machines. I was his doctor. People said, How do you know all this stuff, Deagle? I said, God damn, my daytimer. So I had a guy the other night, you know, the other one person was saying, SDFU, Deagle, let Cody talk. And I want you to talk today. But you need to listen up, people. We're so close to destruction. When I see what's going on with. Maxine Waters, this woman should be in a psych ward in a posy jacket with an antipsychotic in her butt. When I hear Nancy Palauzi, that's her new name, or Adam S-H-I-T-T, S-C-H-I-T-T, or Mr. Rattler, like a rattlesnake, rattling his friggin' mouth off, these people are coup bastards, and this so-called CIA guy is not, I guarantee you he is some kind of intel person. He is not a whistleblower. He's a spy. He needs to be apprehended through military court. He needs to be cross-examined. He needs to find out who actually leaked the information through to him, and he needs to go to prison and or be executed. That's what needs to happen. And unless we do this and clean out the rat's nest, whether it's during Trump or after Trump, this is not going to go away, and America will be destroyed in a thermonuclear, chemical, biological war by proxies for transgalactic evil.
Are you still looking for that one iodine that you can really trust? A medical doctor endorsed product that is backed by honest research and true integrative science. Then search no further. Go to Nutramedical.com for Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutriodine, proven time and time again to be the very best iodine available for you. Nutriodine is the only Tesla activated monatomic plasma iodine in the world. It optimizes mitochondrial function and generation of new mitochondria from totally neutral Neutralizing the venom from a desert recluse spider bite in Southern California to eliminating malaria parasites reported by medical missionaries in Central India. Dr. Bill's Nutriodine is simply the most powerful healing formula there is. Nutriodine clears the body of all known pathogens, restores it to an alkaline state, and even promotes stem cell regeneration. Order Dr. Bill's Nutriodine today at 888 212 8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Red Deer Velvet, DR, is an amazing new product with a patent to preserve 300 biomolecules and six hormones, same as fetal life, where you don't age at all. The state of fetal life allows the 300 biomolecules and six hormones produced by the placenta to be supportive of the re uh, generation of tissues and organs with maximum apoptosis uh, changing the tissue and organ structure of a fetus. That's why if fetal surgery is performed there is no scar. Taking uh, two to three capsules twice a day with oncomycin, myco-D2 uh, provides an amazing support for regeneration of any tissue and organ in the body and even advanced stem cell therapy support treatment. Do uh, get Nutramedical's Red Deer Velvet DR from Dr. Bill Deagle at Nutramedical.com, NUTRIMedical.com, 888-212-8871. Stay well and stay young with Nutramedical. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Deagle, MD, AAEM, ACAM, A4M, of Nutramedical.com, and a consultant providing email advice free on advanced protocols for your optimized wellness and advanced technologies to heal and regenerate you. You can contact us at Nutramedical.com, that's N-U-T-R-I-Medical.com, or 888-212-8871. You get free email starter protocols of our top medical-grade nutraceuticals, initial testing, and the recommendations for your own primary doctor to do, as well as recommendations to give you an idea of a consultation and a full protocol to try to help you regenerate your tissues, heal naturally without the use of toxic polypharmacy. I can send test kits to you as well anywhere in the world and provide you recommendations to referral of specialty clinics worldwide. So contact me, Dr. Bill Deagle, at Nutramedical.com. That's N-U-T-R-I-Medical.com or 888-212-8871. At Nutramedical.com, we have the most amazing drinks with the best most feel, highest quality bionutrient uh, exposure to your body to heal and regenerate, and the uh, most powerful persistence of nutrients to heal your body dramatically. We have Ageless, which makes you age less, which repairs your DNA, extends your telomeres, etc. We have Life Support that detoxes phase 2 detox pathways, glucuronidation, sulfation, and methylation pathway support. We have glycemics that blocks the carbohydrate absorption, helps with diabetes or weight loss, and as well helps with people that are trying to build up muscle using things like our um, special formulas from Dr. Wolf called Mega Muscles Between Meals along with Sports Energy Light. We have the amazing Nutra Complete, the most complete red and green drink in the world with the best mouth feel and flavor. You can often mix it too with Vitamin Mineral Mix, which is our fruit flavored mix power of vitamin minerals. Stay well with Nutramedical every day. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. There was something so pleasant about that place. Welcome back, and uh, Cody's going to do more of the ranting this segment. I wanted to explain what he learned when he actually did some recent interviews with Dr. Frank Gregory Ford. His book, by the way, Midnight in Samara, The True Story of WMD Greed, and high crimes in Iraq. And apparently Dr. Ford interviewed this guy before they tortured him to death, and he learned a lot of things. So please continue, Cody. Yeah, Dr. Ford, um, he, he uh, uh, also met with, uh, with uh, Colonel Schaefer uh, that was head of the ABLE Danger Intelligence Program, and he talked about that. Um, we only had an hour on our last interview. We're doing another one overseas next week. <laughs> 
but he, he's just got a wealth of information, and this book uh, is clear full of all kinds of stories that haven't been heard before, uh, like uh, Ali Saad Hassan, Saddam Hussein's most trusted banker, who actually yeah. financed a lot of this. Um, I think that, you know, CIA and Defense Intelligence Agency took a lot of the files uh, from Saddam. And See, do you know Saddam was... To you know hide Saddam was where the weapons of mass destruction really came from. They came from the Carlisle Group and U.S. contractors and so forth. And right. So uh, it's it's a massive cover up uh, over in Iraq. The things that happened. He also has information about some of the burn pits that were used. You know, a lot of the Bradley fighting vehicles and M1A1 Abrams tanks were actually destroyed by friendly fire, and we used the depleted uranium uh, 238 rounds. Uh, the, these t these vehicles are so highly radioactive that they couldn't be cleaned up, so they put them in burn pits and destroyed them. And he has a lot of information about the nuclear uh, burn pits from Los Alamos and so forth. And so, and by the way, the ones that weren't destroyed, the ones that weren't destroyed directly, that were just got a lot of debris on top of them, were brought back to America without being fully cleaned up, and actually in rail yards, they're still stored in the United States and Central United States. Um, Wow. And now you know that Saddam Hussein is CIA. Do you know that Tim Osman is CIA? Do you know who Tim's other name is? No. Osama bin Laden. And they recently, I think last week, declared that they actually killed Osama's son. Amazing, hey? Sir, both CIA. Saddam and Osama. Yeah, just but Manuel Noriega was CIA asset as well. Right. That's right. what... Um Americans fail to realize that we demonize, you know, when they turn from assets to liabilities, like right. Saddam Hussein and also Manuel Noriega. Well, they didn't turn uh, so there, actually. We demonize them. We have to demonize them and create. Well, we, we created al-Qaeda and ISIS. We're created with the affiliation of these Muslims, which we created when, we're, when the Muslims are fighting the Russians. We took Tim Osman in Afghanistan and helped them build the al-Qaeda and ISIS fighters. That's why when we're recently fighting with ISIS, in Iraq, we actually took their leaders out instead of killing them, and our troops were freaked out by the fact we got helicopters to evacuate the leaders out of these little areas where we're finally ready to firebomb the last bit and burn their carcasses to the bone, and we actually fly them out of the area and get them out of harm's way. People say, oh no, Dr. Deagle, you got to be lying. I said, no, you are dense. Our government is self-corruptive. It actually doesn't have missile defense. By the way, Gerald Bull eventually got convicted through the CIA to do his test for the super cannon in Iraq. That's the only weapon they really had that could potentially be a weapon of mass destruction. And Gerald Bull was originally a Canadian who was the best weapons developer of munitions, advanced munitions in the world. And uh, the only other nation that has very advanced high altitude munitions is Russia. That's why if they come in with a, with a, a, a battalion of, of munitions, so... Gerald Bull Super Cannon is part of my laser net interferometry system. If you see the video, you just go to my Vimeo channel. It's there on YouTube. So please continue, Cody. Well, yeah, I just want to tell you, it's, I think someone's interfering with our comms because while you were talking, I was getting a lot of static introduced on the line. Oh, really? And, uh, you know, a lot of, I was having trouble understanding what you were saying. And I don't know if it's from your studio. It's not from mm -hmm. this phone where I'm at right here. Mm -hmm. But it, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't surprise me because yesterday even we were knocked off air and I had to go back on air and even the power went up. So it doesn't surprise me. So here, here's what I want you to do. Tell us the major issues that you've learned recently since we had you on the show last and what you've learned from Dr. F uh, Frank Gregory Ford. And where is the ministry going and how are we getting through to our leaders? I don't, I don't have any proof yet that we've actually gotten completely through to Trump but if the man doesn't listen, judgment's going to come on America. And people say, well, you're just doing this for radio. No, I'm not. Radio is just a tool to help us get the word out to enough people that might email or call or, you know, cloud a certified letter to the president and say, you better talk to Deagle and to Cody Snodgrass and to people like John W. Spring because you don't know what's really going on, Trump. He presents himself like he's all-knowing. He's not been giving full access to the information he needs to know because the people around him either are left, right, or whatever. Even this guy that says he's a CIA, 
you get so many holdovers that are their life term people that are part of the dark side whether they're republicans or democrats they could give a crap who's the president just them is a game isn't it yeah i just you know it's so hard to know what exactly is going on we're, we're living in a time of immense lies and deception and media control mm -hmm. with ai algorithms and all the computing technology and stuff they can fake vo voice overlays video overlays yeah but it, 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 like this, uh, so doesn't doesn't matter i have a big gift of spiritual discernment very easily yeah i can uh, have spiritual discernment and oversight just like the ancient prophets i can cut through it all all right so just like the prophet that saw through the wall at the temple and it could see the the high priest actually bowing to the east to the gods of the east which means they're luciferic and pagan and sacrificing children to Moloch. So, uh, please continue. Well, you know, it's just really hard for any of us to know what's going on. That's why it's so important to have spiritual No, it isn't. No, 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 it isn't. Uh, it's hard because you don't want to listen to Deagle, you see. The problem is, you see, and, and this is what I say, and I even want to ask, you know, you're a brilliant man, but I get nobody hardly, even my allies brave enough to ask me the toughest questions that they think no rational human being has the answers unless they have God and speed dial. And I'd like you right now to ask me the toughest question because you've been through living hell, near-death experiences, try to be bought off, survive two death attempts on you at least, perhaps more, uh, scalar attacks on your body and your soul, and then I want you to ask the toughest questions you can ask where you don't think you have an answer yet, and guess what? You're going to get it from Deagle right now. Go ahead. Well, I got a question about the CERN reactor. What's the true purpose of that? Is it to create the wormholes to allow the transdimensional reptilians and, and other entities to come through down into <laughs> our dimension? Is it like a transporting yeah. device covered yeah. up it, as it, a it, scientific it, uh, uh, collider experiment? Yes, it's a wormhole developer, and it's also to map out the, the natural wormholes that are actually are faster than light between different parts of our galaxy and cosmos. You're right. Amazing that I know that, isn't it? It's actually yeah. Your problems are breaking up again. I, I think mm -hmm. someone's interfering with this. Yeah. In other words, they yeah they they don't want to hear the fact that the Hadron Collider is designed to map out the wormholes for FDL transport and trade across the cosmos, and for wormholes that are transdimensional because all the world leaders like Hillary Clinton and others are avatared by transdimensional uh, galactic beings from other worlds like. For example, when the Earth was rotating in ancient times, the North Pole pointed directly toward uh, the primary star in the belt of Orion uh, uh, that was the Draco star. Do you know that? The red Draco star in the belt of Orion. Right? It's Is not the pointing there anymore. Mimic of the Giza pyramid and the other pyramid structures? Is that the, the mimic? Well, the, the, pyramid, the pyramids are all created by these ancient beings. They're not created by humans. This idea that ancient you know, <laughs> Egyptians built the pyramid is the most ridiculous thing ever. They didn't build anything, all right? They were built by beings that could use anti-gravitonics to move stone and cut stone and do all kinds of other things that is not possible even today. Could you get anybody anywhere to build even a tiny version of, the, of a pyramid to the, to the rock and stone accuracy of the ancient buildings? Of course not. It's not rational. It could not happen is done by transdimensional and galactic beings who are non-human. One of the reasons for the flood was to destroy the Nephilim that came and actually invaded Earth and took human women and created hybridized race. That's why it says that Noah and his three sons and their wives were perfect in their generations because they weren't genetically modified. God wanted a non-GMO human race to come back to populate the Earth, and that's why he destroyed the world and those populations, including men, women, and children that were genetically hybridized uh, in the ancient world. No, Dr. Diggle, that can't be true. I said, it's in the Bible. It's in ancient Hebrew. If you talk to a Hebrew scholar, they'll tell you that. This is not people that are ufologists. This is just an ugly ancient fact. Right? I don't know. I'm not a Bible scholar. Well, I know enough that I am, okay? So I can tell you right now, and also the genetics, people don't understand how damned evil and how advanced the technology was. Ancient Atlantis and Mew, they had technology. You know that there was an ancient book in Alexandria 
that was referring to technology for transferring energy through the air, through the, the frequency of orbs, it's called, is the name of the book. It was actually translated and brought from Alexandria to the library in the Vatican. And because Nikola Tesla's father was a Orthodox minister, he somehow got access to the Vatican Library, and he got the book through to his brilliant son, Nikola Tesla, back in the 1860s or 70s. Wow. That yeah. would explain why he built the Wycliffe Tower and all that stuff. The exactly. Because there's actually a reproduction of ancient towers and technology present in Atlantis. That's why the illegitimate son of Queen Elizabeth I, uh, what was his name? Um, the wizard. He was an ancient one of the wizards in early England. Probably an IQ like his mother, over 200. Very smart man. He wrote the uh, what's called the Voynich document, which is an allegory about America being the new Atlantis. Did you know that? Yeah, I've heard the theory that a lot of the souls from Atlantis are now reincarnated into America. They're not souls from normal humans. These are transdimensional beings that are inhabiting and avataring the brains just like they're a video game. That's why when I met Hillary Clinton, because I have second sight, I didn't just see a five foot four, pantsuited, plain faced female. I held her hand, and all of a sudden I could see a 16 foot eight Draco reptilian. He was like, Oh, no, Diggle, you're going to be crazy. You thought, I thought you were a doctor and you're rational. I said, Yeah, I am very rational. I can tell you, I can tell you exactly. He pulled, she pulled her head back like she touched the high tension power lines. I'm like, Oh, my God, what was that? And the thing recoiled, realizing I could actually see the freaking thing. That was at Dakota Ridge High School back in 2000. Yeah, I, I had lunch one time with Al Bailey. He was one of the electrical engineers at the Montauk Project. That was after the Philadelphia experiment. And um, he claimed that he uh, sat with one of them in the break room. Uh, that, his nickname was Charlie, and he was a Draco reptilian. He was there to interface their transdimensional technology into the Montauk uh, radar sets through their IBM 3033 computers. Uh, and that's why. That's why. And that's, that's the story why, he told me at lunch. Well, that's why 5G network and Huawei, which is the main supplier for 5G suppliers from China, is the final layer of the mark of the beast. Did you know that? The yeah. temple is not a temple in a building in Israel. In fact, if they build a temple there, it'll be considered the abomination that desolates. The real temple is our mind. In other words, the final layer of the mark of the beast isn't just going to hack into our biology and screw up our cells and DNA. Is to hack into our consciousness. People don't realize that when Trump authorized Mick Mulvaney to start pushing 5G and work with Huawei, he's authorizing the final layer. When he moved the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, the next step is to build a temple in Israel, and it will be an abomination that desolates because the brother Jesus paid the price. That's how bad things are. Yeah, Trump, we're may not be, uh, Trump may not be the Antichrist, but he sure as heck introducing us to the final stages to lay the new world order and bring the Antichrist forward. The Antichrist is not a human beast. It's a digital being and transdimensional beings that invade the Nios or your temple, your spirit and your consciousness of every human. That's where we're going, people. And it's coming not from Russia or China. It's coming from America. America. Wake up. Repent. Hear the truth. The truth is out there. Don't spin on the prophets that are bringing you grace because that's the most vile thing you can do on earth. There's nothing more evil than rejecting the final grace, drops of grace, before judgment. We're going to get you back on uh, video, too, um, and give me that information on uh, uh, Dr. Ford.